owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Well, I've got a new piece of equipment here and I figured I might as well make an uh, a, a unboxing and an, an assembly video because this is something that I've been thinking about getting for the last uh, almost two and a half years now. Now I've done a review of my old steel utility cart that I've had for ages and ages. It's a no-name brand, but uh, it's been a very good unit. It's lasted a long time. However, it's on its last legs. Some of the bolts have rusted out of it. The frame is a bit tweaked. I've got mismatched tires on there at this point. And uh, a couple years back, I got a Blue Hawk, which I also did a review of. And uh, to be honest with you, I've never been very pleased with it. It was a larger unit. I really thought it was going to be more helpful here on the farm. But the size was actually a detriment in getting in and out of some places. So I decided that I wanted to get uh, another like 10 cubic foot, not a 17. And I did some uh, research, and I ended up going with this, which is a Brinley 10 cubic feet. Uh, this is a composite. It's, it's, not a, it's not a metal one, so it's a little bit larger in the box. But I've got it here, got it home. I've actually cut the tape off of it already. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing outside into the yard so there's better sunlight out there today. And we're going to take a look at all the parts that it come with. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it together. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you're buying a Brinley <laughs> and a cart like this, this is the video for you for sure, okay? Let's go outside and take a look. Okay, so here it is unpacked. Not a whole lot going on here, which is one thing I'm noticing. The difference between getting a metal-sided one and a uh, poly-sided one is that there's a whole lot less parts going on here, isn't there? In front of you, these three white things here. I'll take a close-up of it here. Those are your three manuals. And what's really neat about this is they have the instruction manual slash assembly manual. But they've also come up with um, another instruction manual if you want to build a side kit which adds like, uh, you know, raised panels so you could foot loose objects like uh, leaves and hay and stuff like that in there. So it gave you all the dimensions, all the sizes. So even though you could do this on your own, they've gone the extra step there and included that. So that's kind of cool. Then we also have this piece of cardboard over here. And if you can read it there, I don't know, but I'll read it to you. Do not discard cardboard bed divider. It can be used as a template for making dividers for the cart. Pretty nice that they included that. So you could draw that out on a piece of plywood and and have dividers and there's places for two of those so you could cut this thing up in three ways that's also kind of cool then we got our two tires over there we've got our main bar our axle bar our main bottom piece and there's a couple smaller metal pieces and then that white thing over to the side right uh, there that's all your nuts and bolts so they're all very clearly labeled i'm definitely digging it now as far as tools to get this done it was a very short list it said a pair of pliers a flat blade screwdriver two nine sixteenth wrenches and one half inch wrench as you can see i've got those laying right there and i've actually got a combo so it's a half inch and nine sixteenths i have no doubt that if you did not have any wrenches you could probably do the whole job with a pair of screwdrivers or a screwdriver and a pair of pliers but uh, getting everything nice and tight probably recommended to follow those directions so i'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the directions all right so i've had a chance to look over the assembly instructions and again i'm kind of pleased i mean Putting those metal ones together does take quite a bit of time. This looks like it's going to be a considerably less amount of time. Um, everything is well labeled to come in a blister pack, and they're going to direct you to what you need first and then go from there. So that's kind of cool. I'll go ahead and get a couple of these started, and we'll start assembling this thing. All the holes are pre-drilled. Very nice. The instructions look fairly, fairly easy to follow. That would be easier with two people, but I want to see if I can put this together myself. Because a lot of folks, you know, they just don't have time to have helpers. People work two jobs, sometimes people work three jobs. I know I work two, plus the side jobs that I have here. You know, I restore cars here on the mountain, do farming here on the mountain. By the time I'm done with all the stuff I do here, I hardly have time for one job, but somehow I manage to have two. To get a lot of these nuts and bolts started and I'll go back and tighten them up once I got them in. That way you don't end up with something that's cockeyed. If you get it all set up and then tighten everything down at the end, generally speaking that's a, a better way of going about doing things. It makes it easier to get those last few bolts, nuts and bolts in there. I'll go ahead and tighten these down. We'll move on to step two. Okay, so that took, uh, let's see, it took about five minutes. That's not bad, really. 
five minutes to get the screws in, five minutes to tighten them up. We're in this thing for 10 minutes. One person could do the job easily. Two people would probably be recommended, but not necessary. Looking at step two here. Um, cool. We're going to attach the front bracket. Looks like two more bolts, two more washers. And we're ready to move on to part three. I will say this. I also like this a lot. Nuts, bolts, washers, everything. They're laid out in stages, so you're following along with this thing. It's, it's really cool. Panel one, panel two. So it's... It's really, really nice. I like that. Looks like this got a notch here. I better double check. Notch faces forward. Right there. You see that? That's it. That's on there. Let's flip the page and see what's next. Okay, so it looks like the next step here is going to be assembling this beam. Again, we're already more than halfway done, I would say. We only got that much left to go. So uh, it's shown here. This is my my kick, my dump kick. It's nicely. It's got that abrasive material on there, so you'll be able to kick that forward, release the spring, the bed will dump. So I'll go ahead and install that through that hole there. Looks like I've got a couple nuts and bolts that are even going on there. Let's take a look here. Very interesting. So let's flip this over here. I'm always impressed with the designs people come up with. Everybody's got their own way of creating. This is a this is kind of unique. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this before, and I really kind of like it. It's interesting. Form and function, you know what I mean? And that's a lock washer there, so that's going to go on there. Go ahead and tighten that up. There she is. Very interesting design. I really like it. Simple yet functional. That's what we're looking for, right? And every day in our lives, that's what we're looking for. Okay, then we get down to our spring. I'm really digging the fact that this thing comes in order. So you take the package, you don't have to have all these things laying out. You can literally go step by step and follow the instructions and never have too much extra stuff laying around. I should have needle nose for this job. I'll see if I can get it attached with this though. Oop, there it goes. And that's my dump release. Cool. Let's move up to here. I think we're going to be attaching our pivot for our pin. Sure enough. Sure are, right like that. And it's showing, uh, well, what do you know? It's showing this stuff right here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and put my pin in there now just so I don't lose it. And we'll move on to the next step. Right. Tow bar assembly. It's going to slide in right here, it looks like. And the bar goes right through it. Wow, this really is nice. All right, well, we're in this for far less than a half hour at this point. But I've got two machine washers. They're going to go here and here. I'm going to install my wheels. I have two more washers. And then I have my C-clips, and this job is going to be over. I'll go ahead and grease these up. I'll be right back. There are grease fittings here. I want to grease these before I put them on. And I'll grease them again when I take them back off or when I... Uh, Get them on there and put a little extra grease in there. And of course you want to inflate them, I'm sure, from sitting in the factory for so long or on the shelf wherever you buy these things for so long that they're going to be a little low. So they say inflate up to 30 PSI. Sounds good to me. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's slide it on. When you go to put it on there, make sure you got your valve stems pointed out. Slide that on like so. Got yourself a clamp and a C-clip. Put the head on there like that. Oh. Might need to get a pair of needle nose for this job. Yeah, let me see if I can do it with the regular pliers. Yes, a pair of needle nose pliers for that. I'm gonna move the camera over. Now nah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just turn the whole thing. Side is going to be the same. Got my washer on the inside. Made it up, put a little grease on it. Slide that in there. Put my other washer in place. There she goes. Perfect. I'll put a little uh, more lube on me. Well, that's about it. I uh, can't believe how quickly I got that done. As you can see, the old girls in the background there, not looking too good. That's probably the six or seven set of tires I put on it. And things have gotten bent and twisted and rusted out over the years. And I intend to use this the exact same way. I'm going to use it pretty hard. So we'll see how the years treat the Brinley 10 cubic foot dump cart. But for now, I'm giving it an A+. That was the easiest setup I think I've done on any piece of equipment in a while. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to hook this booger up to my tractor and go take care of the chickens. So uh, it's about to get dirty. <laughs> That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Take care.